Welcome to week number five for Mandy. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our six week course where I'm trying to coach my slimmers to lose a stone in six weeks. Hi Mandy. Hello. How are you doing? I've been, I'm okay. I've been told to hold the camera up here so you can't see all my chins. <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> the doctor? My, do my daughter. Oh, you do. <laughs> Good advice. It's so true. Did you know that my uh, my actual camera's up on the ceiling right now? <laughs> Great. Yeah. Right, Mandy, what is the news from the scales this week? So I've lost three pounds this week. <gasps> wow, well done. Yeah, I think that's I'm, good. I'm shocked. What have you been <laughs> yeah. doing? What have you been doing? I've had these uncooked kidney beans oh. <laughs> yeah before so we started recording you did tell me the story how you uh you found some old kidney beans <laughs> and you tried to yeah. grow a sunflower <laughs> <laughs> oh and you ended up on the toilet is that right yeah that okay. was mon all day monday but i have been healthy i mean that was to make a healthy chili bean meal yeah, which is I'm impressed. good for you. Yeah. What other meals have you had this week then that's helped you lose weight? I think it's just not eating junk between meals. Also, I've brought myself some miniature ice cream. So when the, the family have a chocolate ice cream, I'll just have a little ice cream. And with no chocolate on, just ice cream. Oh, great. Well done. Yeah. And we've been having um, fruit with Greek yogurt as a treat. Great. So I haven't had any biscuits all week. And you've so had that as good. a treat, did you say? Yeah. Oh, Mandy, that's good. Yeah. And what, in, um, what inspired you to do this then? Well... You know, before I started Slim Brother, I didn't weigh myself because you're in denial that you're putting weight on and your jeans don't fit, aren't you, really? Yeah. And nothing in this shop's fit. And um, and I put the size on that I thought I was when I tried clothes on and, and they're not really my size anymore. So you're in denial, aren't you? So I just thought I've really got to lose two stone before I even go on a diet. Do you know what I mean? So the, the weight that I thought I was was two stone lower than I am. So when I get to that two stone lower, I've still got to lose the rest of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I've got a long way to go now because I've just been in denial and putting it on. But it's good also not to look too far ahead, Mandy, as well. It's good to some yeah. of my other, other slimmers, you know, they're just desperate to have a good day, never mind a good week. So it's good yeah. that you've actually had a good week and actually got some good results from that. Yes, that's good. And it it's, helps when you do lose some to motivate you on then. So the oh, kidney beans. About the two shirts. Oh, you, what is Genesis. it? Oh, Genesis. Oh, nice. It looks nice, <laughs> Mandy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so your kidney so the, beans then, that was, did you, did you empty your cupboards then looking for all, all the healthy things that you've got? I, I needed to get the ingredients to make it. So I looked in my cupboard, I'd got some tinned kidney beans, but I'd also got some in a packet and I thought, oh, I'll use them. So I soaked them overnight. But then my son read when I was being ill, he was going, but then they need cooking for 30 minutes before you use them. I said, I thought they were a bit rock hard when I was eating them. <laughs> so that was the issue then? I thought, someone's made me ill. And I thought, <laughs> no, it was myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mandy. Right. So uh, what is the plan for this coming week? So just to stay off the biscuits and just to carry on as I was doing, really. And in a few weeks, I'll try that recipe again when I've got over it. Yeah, and, and buy some beans this time. Yeah, tinned ones <laughs> are a lot easier. <laughs> and has your water intake improved then? 
Oh, not really. I've been having it with squash. No, that's a fine. So your squash intake's improved, though? A bit, yeah. Not okay. too much. Yeah. But again, it's good that you're not doing everything all at once, because at least we can keep on improving to keep the weight loss going. Yeah. So do you think it's actually just the, the, the lack of the biscuits and the cakes that's made the big difference? Yes. Because I do, I can eat half a packet of biscuits in one go. So how many yeah. calories would that be? Also, when I have been out for meals, I've definitely looked what calories are on the meal. So I went to the dog and partridge last week in the week and they had the bass fish. What do you call it? Oh, bass yeah, sea all... bass. Oh, sea bass, yeah. Yeah. That was nice. And that had the least calories on the menu. So putting the calories on does help you choose doesn't it absolutely and it really stops yeah. you from choosing other things as well because it does say on the yeah. bottom of the menu we recommend to have only 2000 calories a day yeah and some meals does. are actually 2000 calories aren't they or more um and one of the puddings was 900 calories yeah. i said well i won't bother with one of them then you don't <laughs> expect them to be that many do you <laughs> So yeah, it's definitely. I think it's a great thing that they've added the calories on there. So it's good that you're finding. Yes, it I am. So what meals have you got planned for this coming week, Mandy? Um. Well, I don't know really. I've been having a lot more salads at lunchtime. Yeah. We had a healthy salad on Saturday with my daughter. She was impressed. Was she? <laughs> yeah. What sort of salad yeah. did you have? Um, it had well. I brought a salad from Marks's, spent Marks and Spencer's in the reduced, and I divided that up between us. But put extra salad on and some eggs, ham, cheese. I didn't have the cheese actually, but they did, and that made a nice um, beetroot, which I always forget about the beetroot and yeah. avocado. Oh, you so. had some avocado. Yeah. Check you out. <laughs> what did you do with it? I just cut it in half and squeezed it onto my plate. Just Great. Like, I just have it like that, yeah. And you, you chopped it up then, or did you mash it? Just mashed it a bit, yeah. Great. And it yeah. is, because it is, I always think it's a good replacement for like a sauce or a salad dressing, you know, because it's got yeah. that lovely flavoursome taste to it. Yeah, I still had a bit of salad dressing, but like you say, when you've got the other things, it, helps to have less then doesn't yeah. it and again yeah. if it's a, 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 a olive oil based salad dressing it's actually not bad at all so it's oh, actually yeah. healthy to have olive oil based salad dressing and obviously olive oil itself yeah great so olive. this week is very unique mandy because we have two bank holidays in one week normally we oh, only have yeah. this at easter so what is what is your plan for this week how are you going to cope um, I don't know, I'll probably just eat like normal, I think. I don't think I'm going to go over the top with anything. And Have you got any, what's your plans for the weekend? I think we're going to Tutbury Castle on Thursday near oh, you. Lovely. Yeah, they've got an event all day, haven't they? And then in yes. the evening. Yeah. Are you then, going there? Uh, no, I'm actually going to London. <laughs> <laughs> you're always you're always somewhere else you travel all over one day you're up north and the next day you're down south <laughs> but in my village of Hatton they are doing a thing on the Saturday so if you're free on the Saturday they're doing like a picnic yeah. in the afternoon by the river and then in the evening yeah. they've got like a music festival on oh that sounds nice it depends on the weather doesn't it as well yeah so if the yeah. sun's shining, you know where to go on for your free Saturday night out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are they going to sort that? Then they just sell a, a, a sandwich deal, I suppose, to people. Well, have you ever heard of Fanny's Farm? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that near you? Is it Scropton? <laughs> no, it's, you know, remember the Happy Egg Company, that farm? Yeah. That well, they closed down, didn't they? And just down yeah. the road there, Fanny's Farm opened. And it's oh. 
And Fanny is basically, she's actually a woman from Birmingham. She's really nice. But she runs like a little coffee shop. Anyway, yeah. Fanny is closing down for the day. She's coming to Hatton and she's doing a hog roast. Oh, that's nice. So, again, high protein, good for diabetics, plenty of meat. So, again, yeah. I know there's good choices there on Saturday night, Mandy. That's why I'm recommending oh. it for you. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll so look into it. If you it, want a bit yeah. of Fanny's hog on Saturday night. <laughs> yeah. You know I will have a look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's nice that your village is doing something, isn't it? And I think, actually, in Hilton, she's doing... They're having a street party in Hilton on the Saturday. On the... No, the Friday. Yeah. There's basically things going on all around. Yeah. You might have to uh, look on the Burton Mayor website, Mandy. It'll tell you everything. But I'm surprised yeah. Ralston are not doing a street party or uh, anything. We're having, I know, we're having the transport festival on Sunday or Monday. We have oh, that every yeah. year, don't we? Yeah. It's not very Jubilee style, though, is it? No, but the club's in the middle of it all. So Ralston Club are probably going to put something on like that. She'll oh. probably be at Ralston on Sunday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And he gets so everywhere. <laughs> do you know her? Is she your friend? I, I do. I, I've, I've spoken to her. I wouldn't call her my friend, but I know her. She's nice. She's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's ringing me now. Right. Shall I'll I leave you to get it? This. <laughs> no, I'll have to ring them back. Right, so finally, what is your goal for next week, Mandy? Uh, about two pound would be nice. Great. Now, the good news is you only need half a pound to get your half stone certificate. So oh, I would God. love to award you with your half stone certificate next week. Yes, thank you. If you want to lose seven and a half, then I'll be able to give you your stone certificate. But if not, just do half. That's fine for me. I'll have to be stop being sick. <laughs> don't recommend people to do that will you <laughs> what? I think if you had red sick. kidney beans every day I think you probably would lose seven and a half <laughs> I think I've gone off them for, for the time being <laughs> yeah try them again uh, in the autumn oh yeah okay right, right. that's it have from me nice Mandy week. thank you so much right. have a nice um, week thank you and I'll speak <laughs> to you next week Bye. Bye.